four-time Miss Olympia Jay Cutler. Welcome to my channel, Jay Cutler TV. And make sure to stay in tune with the newest and updated videos. Subscribe below, guys. Thank you so much for following along. <laughs> you know how we used to have the... <laughs> First of all, welcome. Remember when you used to do the couch at the fucking store? <laughs> yeah. What was it called? With Muscle Beach TV on the couch. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you used to have the leather couch there. What yeah. ever happened to the leather couch? Uh, it moved. It got moved to the uh, the new store, but I think I think we ended up getting rid of them. Yeah, there was no room. Couch could talk, huh? There was a lot of ass that sat on that couch. <laughs> you know things. what's funny is is uh, you know we're sitting here, and you made a special trip to come out here. Okay, lay down so I can do this. Okay, I know they just want attention because <laughs> I've been away for two weeks. But yeah. you know. 13 we did the comeback but you've been here a lot of years when i was training for olympias you come stay the last week right and uh you know this olympia man was probably since 13 like every year we've gone to the olympia but i think this year was the closest of recollection that i felt more involved with the show because of course the new champion was formed and uh like it made me reminisce a lot more because I remember it made me reflect on because it's been a long time. I mean, obviously, Phil he beat me, right? So I was kind of caught up in that time of like, okay, I had a transition of like being the loser of that show, and then he took over and he was winning every year. But I never really got into it. Like, I felt like this year, you know, being involved in interviewing Sean and Sean predicting like, hey, I'm gonna take out Phil Heath and us being like, okay, well, we'll see. Cause he obviously, you know, everyone says that every year and then Sean stepped forward and basically did everything he said. And I felt like kind of like a more of a part of it, even though like we just bumped backstage for quick after the show. But I remember like laying on the couch and of course this house is re remodeled since like we were doing that whole episode and it was just crazy because, um, you know, we, we highlighted everything about my life and it's like, I reminisce now for Sean because like he's, I, I can't imagine what he's thinking right now. I told him when I saw him in Prague, like that was happened like two weeks after. And I said, has it hit you yet? And he's like, no, it hasn't hit me, you know? And, uh, <laughs> it's just crazy because it took so long for me to recognize. And really you don't start recognizing until you start like traveling the next year. Because it seems like after the Olympia, like, everything dies, right? Like, you do a few guest spots, but all the big stuff starts clicking. Like, you got, you know, it used to be, like, the Ironman or the LA Fit Expo and then the Olymp uh, the uh, Arnold Classic. So that's when you realize, holy shit, I'm Mr. Olympia, you know, when everyone's coming up to you. And, dude, his popularity is going to go through the roof. Like, he climbed, remember when Stan was here, he climbed, like, 300,000. 300,000 like, like, overnight, Instagram in overnight. a day. Yeah. And that's just fucking crazy to me. Like, yeah. You know, he hadn't even been at a million yet. Now he's at a million. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people are like, fuck, how did you do it at 43, you know? And, you know, it's just exciting to see someone new. As much as, you know, fuck, man. Like, I, I respected Phil Heath. I mean, he was my guy, right? And I watched him win, and I was so happy for him. But, like, eventually we all move forward. It's just amazing to me. Like, Phil Heath turns 39 now. And here I am, like, I remember him telling me, yeah, old man, da 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 when I end up being, like, almost 40, and holy shit, Phil Heath, like, the young guy that was, like, you know, we were talking about the other day, remember when Phil Heath was sitting here eating pizza or whatever? After the USA. In my house, yeah. and being like, man, you know, I'm, I'm going to be there someday, and he, this guy comes up, and now he was, like, king for the last seven years, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, now Roden takes over, and it's like, okay, well, what's he going to do? And, uh... I can't imagine what goes through these guys' minds. And, and uh, you know, I knew how exciting it was for me. But I'm just so thankful, man, that I did it in that era. Because I had such fucking awesome support, man. It was like I had all you guys, but I had Muscle Tech as a main sponsor. They were fucking awesome to me. And you know, I remember going out to Cali and doing those shoots. And, <clears throat> like, they put me up at the Ritz-Carlton, man. Wow. Like, that's the crazy thing. Like, you, you see, like people talk about companies nowadays and like no one treated anyone like muscle tech did man like they were fucking just a next level like they sent us gifts for birthdays christmas all the athletes and i was like the top guy but dude they would spend so much money like they made sure they catered to us like all the best like flights and 
We stayed in amazing, like when we came to California, like literally they put us up at the Ritz Carlton, mm. like and ate like the best of the best dinners and they treated us like gold. And Paul was just an amazing dude. And you know, I mean, obviously he sold the company for like three quarters of a, a billion dollars or wow. whatever, you know, he's 750 million. Wow. Um, so it was just, I, I love to be part of that. It was eight years with them and you know, they were like super great. Uh, it made it so much easier to train and I was you know I was paid so well to what to do what I love to do and represent like the best products so for me it was like I just had like kind of like a, a textbook career you know so I kind of reminisce on these things and when we sit here and we do these videos and it's like I'm excited about bodybuilding a little bit again you know I'm so glad you said that I had no idea what you're gonna say right now and I'm so glad you said because I felt the exact same way this Olympia you know I I love the Olympia we're bodybuilding fan at heart but the, all the past few years because you haven't been completing at least for me it's just like oh I want to go I wouldn't miss it but am I really invested no and for some reason this year I felt invested and I don't know if it's because of Sean training at goals and I kind of pushed you to do that interview because I want to take credit for that I said you and Sean have this he keeps saying that you well, have that remember, bomb remember I was like fuck I don't want to fly out there I know this almost did what not happen what was I doing though no I was you I just was had there. a really really big week or you were busy and Sean hadn't got no I, I had to go some. I was in LA and I was going down to somewhere else you were doing the base the military oh, that's right. base that's right that's and right. it was like a, you know and then Sean yeah. of course told me he wanted to do it but we hadn't pinpoint the time or everything remember and in the morning Avin you're like I didn't even know if it was going to show up get a hold of the guy I know and that's my point it's it so almost did not happen and somehow you got there he got there we did it on time and it turned out to be so great and I was like yes <laughs> I was like, so I was just really glad that he said what he said um and yeah, that yeah he, but you know what's crazy I met like I remember Roden won like at 211 or 212 he won the fucking North yeah, American that's how he gets pro card 211 and uh you know I'm like man like to now see him competing almost 250 on the Olympia stage like people are like oh he's he's more of aesthetic guy but he's aesthetic but he has like he's got a size. lot of muscle too I yeah. mean he's not small he's not small um yes Phil's bigger and Phil you know is Phil a better bodybuilder I mean people look at that and they say like I think that really you know could be a big question on this on this actually segment is is Phil a better bodybuilder than than Sean I mean listen the guy won seven Olympias it's pretty outstanding and he's he does amazing. have some knockout shots but he's amazing you know let's be real 2011 Phil Heath was the best when he beat me and he was probably a lot lighter yeah he was a lot lighter and streamlined but yeah. you know he's definitely bigger now and I always said bigger is not better I got too big I liked my physique back when I got second to last at the Olympia. That's, that waist was so small. Like, yeah. yeah, it's just like when you get bigger and bigger and bigger, it's not necessarily better. And honestly, no. Phil didn't really need to get a lot bigger to compete. Like, no. but Rami coming up and all these, yeah, you know what Rami's, I mean? Like, I know. Rami hasn't put it together yet. I know. You know? And Rolly's big as shit too. But I mean, you gotta you gotta have someone that has the balance and the proportions and the conditioning. That was the. And listen, I didn't come the best of shape eat every year either. I had, had years I was on and off. And some years are questionable, some years are questionable in my favor and against me, right? But at the same time, like, the judges make the decision. It's not anyone else's fault. So, like, you know, Phil shouldn't be mad at Sean and, you know, Roly shouldn't be mad at, you know, Phil or, you know, it's just like whatever the cards fall, they fall. I mean... Dexter fell out of the top five for a while, and I was amazed at that because I thought he was going to really shock people. Yeah. I mean, I thought he'd make a big run at the top, and, I mean, it just goes to show, man. I mean, even Rami fell to, yeah. you know, six or whatever. I mean, he has to re-qualify now. Um, Everything on paper did not match this year. No, so yeah. fuck next year. I'm not making these. <laughs> I'm not going to say. Oh, you didn't want to do it. I, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I know, but I thought Phil, if he came in at his best, he would have won, right? Yeah. But Phil, he's just missed there's something there. And I know there's a lot of videos out there, Phil, and he's saying, I should have won this. And But, you know, listen, I fucking admire the shit out of Phil Heath. Like, I respect him. Um, I think he's fucking one of the best ever, genetic wise. But there's just something that's not the same with Phil's body that it, it's not as appealing as it used to be. And, you know, and maybe because of the injury, but. I know deep down inside, if he really looks at and compares at stuff, he should be um, aware that 
like you know the abs he, he, like when he stood there before the abs had like squared off sections right? it doesn't have that anymore and it doesn't look right when he stands there i mean it's kind of like a guy having you know smooth stomach and hard everywhere else it doesn't matter if your chest is striated your legs are striated your ass is striated your back striated like that throws it off because there's a front side and a back side like when you do your quarter turns you know even when he posed from the side like when your stomach's out a little bit it, it throws off the poses and when they're eyeing that from the front remember they may not have eyed it if it wasn't so apparent from the front so when you turn they're going to be thinking in their head okay well, we just saw his stomach so how's his stomach look from the side whereas before if it looked you know cleaner on the front they weren't thinking to look at the stomach they were looking more for the shoulders arms and stuff so you can't you can't sit there and blame the judges like hey they're pointing something out and they're, they're putting me like they're being more critical like dude when things aren't what they used to be that sometimes just like me man i wasn't like towards the end man i wasn't the same bodybuilder 2001 i was streamlined 2009 it came back crazy 2010 wasn't as good as 2009 in 2011 i lost i tore the bicep but the body wasn't it was starting to change as i got closer to 40 and that's what happens i always said that with dexter too like he won the olympia 40 but I mean, man, he was he was great. I mean, people are saying at 45, 46, 47, oh, he's better than he was when he won the Olympia. I never agreed with that. Hmm. I love Dexter. I think he's the fucking greatest bodybuilder of all time next to Ronnie. I mean, obviously, he's the 19 Olympias, like, crazy. But, like, it's not the same when you're almost 50 years old. Let's be realistic. I mean, uh, I'm not going to sit there and kiss anyone's ass. I'm going to tell it how it is. And, you know, maybe Sean Roden looked as good two years ago but Phil he didn't look off like he was this year so it's all who you're standing next to and that's how shows it judge guys like I just I hate to see people get upset and, and claim that oh I should have or this and that like man like I want to see Phil he come back and be his best and you know people that say oh he's done and da 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 hopefully he'll make another run at it man and you know I'd love to see Kai Green come back and battle oh, it out man. with those guys too I mean you know, there's no point in seeing me come back up there because I ain't going to do shit, you know? I mean, I couldn't do shit in 2013 against these guys. I mean, I was sixth and I could have been eighth, you know? Ninth, but uh, I could have been fourth, you know? It really depends on what people were looking at, you know? But, uh, you know, I had a great career, man, and, you know, these memories just sit here and, you know, I'm glad we're able to continue to do this and I have a lot to say sometimes, but... Uh, you know, that's kind of my take on, like, you know, excitement about the Olympia again. Like, I am excited about it. I'm really excited to watch next year. I'm definitely going to the show next year. <laughs> Prejudging? Like, I'm definitely going to go because <laughs> I want to see. I missed a prejudging, so I'm kind of like, fuck, you know. I, I know. Now you keep texting me. You're like, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I want to save it to Saturday because I didn't yeah. want to go twice in there. And I'm like, fuck, now I missed it. Yeah, you did. You know, I, I you didn't believe it. I told I know, you. Oh man. You yeah. told me, like, yeah. but, you know, you have a bad fucking, you're a bad critic. <laughs> no, but I told you after the pre-judging, I said, listen, I really think he's got that one. It just, he showed up, you know, on, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's just like everybody else. Even if, you know, the years, history has shown us that even if someone is really, really good, usually the champ will take it, usually. So, but it's not always the case. Well, you lost in 08. I hope he has someone fucking rival him next year, dude. I hope there's a couple guys that step up and. I think I will be back, dude. I have yeah, a I have I don't a feeling think he's gonna come back. Uh, we'll see. I mean, Kai, if you watch this, come back. <laughs> I already tried. I already called him out. Oh but, really? Yeah. He's not responding. He's not. He kind of laughed. I think. Ah, oh, this bum. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff.